Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the laptop motherboard component with their circuit diagram. I'm going to focus on the major parts a laptop motherboard. So let's get started. So the first component is the processor or the CPU, central processing unit. As you can see here we have the processor and over here we have a circuit pinout. As you can see Basically, this circuit diagram, as you can see here, is not for the processor itself, but for the, the CPU socket, okay? It is, as you can see, divided into many control, as you can see. So, as a definition, processor or a microprocessor is a small chip that resides in the motherboard. The processor of a computer is also known as the CPU or central processing unit. It performs controlling basic arithmetic, logic and input-output operations, as well as giving control commands for other chips and components running on a computer. Processors can handle trillions of calculations per second. It is seen as the main chip in a computer. So, the second component in the laptop motherboard is the GMCH or Graphic Memory Control Hub or the North Bridge. So basically as you can see here this is the North Bridge, this is the circuit pinout as you can see, the same working principle as the processor, it has many groups or parts as you can see, we have here this first part is not connected, here we have MICS PM or power management, here DMI, here this is basically the bus that connects the GMCH to the ICH, the DMI or the direct media interface. Here we have the clock, as you can see, and over here we have the DDR maxim. This is basically the control signals that controls the flow of data between GMCH and RAMs. So, as a definition, a North Bridge is an integrated circuit that is connected directly to the CPU via the front side bus FSP. It is responsible for tasks that require the highest performance. That's why it is associated with the fattest components in the motherboard, including RAM, graphic controller, South Bridge chip as well as the CPU. It manages communications between the CPU and other parts in the motherboard through different buses. So it is connected with the CPU via FSP and connected with the ICH via DMI or direct media interface and of course connected to the RAM via the RAM bus or the random access memory bus. So, the third component is the ICH or the SOAT bridge. Basically, the ICH means the input output control hub. So, basically, here in the right, we have the circuit pinout. As you can see, the same working principle. It has many groups or many parts. As you can see, we have here the SPI controller that is connected to the BIOS, we have here the PCI Express, the Direct Media Interface or the DMI here. The ICH is connected with the North Bridge via this part as you can see. Here we have the USB controller, okay? Because the ICH controls all ports in the motherboard, inclu including USB ports, RG45, HDMI, etc. As a definition, a salt bridge is a small chip that resides in the motherboard. It is connected directly to the north bridge via the DMI or direct media interface. It connects the North Bridge to other components inside the computer, including hard drives, BIOS, network connections, USB connectors, sound card, HDMI, the system clock, etc. The SOAT Bridge sends and receives data from the processor through the North Bridge chip.
Third bridge is all, the third bridge is also referred to as the input output control hub since it controls the inputs and output devices. The RAM or random access memory. So the RAM, as you know, is one of the most important parts in every computer. Without the RAM, you cannot run the operating system. Okay. So as a definition, the random access memory is a type of data storage used in computer motherboards. This type of memory is volatile and all information that was stored in it is lost when the computer is turned off. When a device has sufficient RAM, several programs can run simultaneously without any shutdown. The RAM is connected directly to the node bridge via memory bus. So the next component is the Super IO IC. The Super IO IC is the IC that is that controls the power in the whole motherboard. Okay, it is of course connected to the keyboard, to the BIOS, etc. Here we have the pin configuration of the IO. So as a definition, the Super Input Output is an integrated circuit on a computer motherboard that handle and manages the slower input output devices like keyboard, mouse, parallel port, RTC or real time clock, serial port, infrared, temperature sensors, and fan speeds, etc. So basically, the last component or the next component is the BIOS or basic input output system. So here we have the BIOS pin configuration, as you can see, in the first pin, basic, basically it has, basically here this is the schematic for the 8 pin BIOS, in the first pin we have the chip select, pin number 2 we have serial output, pin number 3 write protect, pin number 4 is connected to the ground, in pin number 5 we have serial input, in pin number 6, this is basically the serial clock. 7, we have hold. And in 8, in pin number 8, we have the VDD or the working power for the BIOS. So, as a definition, the BIOS or basic input output system is an essential component in the computer. It allows the CPU to communicate with connected input and output devices. When the computer is powered on, the BIOS will perform many tasks such as CPU test, CMOS configuration check, initialize the timer, RAM and cache memory check. It checks all the configurations keyboard, mouse, monitor, hard disks, etc. If everything is ok, the BIOS load, loads the operating system into the computer's memory and finish the boot up process.